So this here is a butane torch. Um, that is the exact model there if you're interested. Uh, I bought this obviously to use for a few experiments and well when I bought a butane canister with it and tried to fill it up I realized something. This part on the canister is too wide to even reach that little valve. It doesn't fit through that gap. So that's an issue. But I have an idea on how to solve it. This stuff here. This is Plastimake. And I've made a video on this before. Uh, there will be a card in the top up there if you want to check that out. But uh, this stuff's pretty cool. You put it in boiling water and it goes transparent and then you can mold it and shape it into anything you want. So the goal here is to make a connector or a little bit that will go over this and be small enough to fit in there. I hope this works. Well the first step is to boil some water. Awesome. So that is very hot water. So now I've sort of just jumped right into this. I uh, didn't really, haven't really planned out how I'm gonna do this. But I mean, my basic thinking is, I'll uh, kind of mold it around that, um, just the bottom piece, and then I'll have it kind of like cone shaped, nice and small, so it can at least fit there in between that, in that hole there. And then, uh, somehow drill a really small hole in between it all, through it all. And then hope that works. Anyway, uh, this plastimic here. Um, where is it? So yeah, using the plastimic, I made my own little spoon. I can kind of dig it out and put in controlled enough amounts of plastimic. And then it's all pretty much transparent now, which is good. So let's just collect it up, take it out, and start molding really. And then this part. All right. Um, Done a little something here, a little bit of tweaking, that kind of thing. Um, so I've made a hole all the way through it already while it's still soft because drilling through this is quite a pain. I've done it before. But uh, what I can do is put this in some cold water, let that harden up a bit, then I think I'll cut off the end, maybe shave it down a bit if it's too wide to fit in, to fit in there. But uh, yeah, I hope that will work. All right, so while we've got a little bit of daylight left, I'm just gonna really get into it. So just try this thing. Oh man, I hope this works. So let's line that up there and that up there. Can you hear that? There is some gas inside there. <laughs> that actually sort of worked. Um, which is, that, that's, that's actually really cool. I'm actually really happy that I can get it to work just like that. But you see, most of it, most of the gas just goes out into the air. So, it's a, it's a huge wastage there. Well, I'm actually going to try again. See if I can make this slightly better. All right. So I've got this here. Uh, this is definitely somewhat the final because I did a quick test and got some pretty, uh, pretty promising results there. Um, so I'll show you. I'll try, I'll try to be in the frame this time. Last time I was just doing this because... Last time I was just doing it outside of the frame because it was uh, easier to hold, but I'll do that in the frame if I can. 
and I also wisened up and uh, put gloves on. Now, mind you, this is not, still not perfect. It does waste some gas, but uh, I'll do my best. Okay, it wastes a lot of gas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's still so cold in the glove. Oh, I need to take that off. Wow. Oh, man. Anyway, as you can see here, I'll turn it up. And, uh, yeah, look at that. And that. It's a pretty solid flame. While I'm here, I'm actually going to see what I can melt with this, just briefly. All right, so got here aluminium, salt, and magnesium. Uh, I can't quite remember the melting points of all of them. This is 660.3 degrees Celsius. I can't remember for both of these either. I'll put them on the screen, but this is just a test to see if I can melt this. Starting with the aluminium. Boom. Molten aluminium. All right, let's get into the salt. Wow, oh yeah. Okay, salt just tends to explode, so. Well, I'll leave that, or I'll have to revisit salt another day. And let's try the magnesium. Now I'm hoping, because I've played with magnesium before in a video, I'm hoping this won't combust and rather just melt. Oh, and it did. Oh, look at that. <laughs> awesome, yeah, because on my previous experiment with magnesium, it tended to combust when it was in a powder form, and I could, couldn't quite ignite like bigger pieces like that. But uh, yeah, no, that, that worked. <laughs> there was molten aluminium, uh, exploding salt, and molten magnesium. So there we have it. That... Uh this little thing here, you know, that's uh, better than what I thought that I would get at all. Um, I thought this video was not going to work at all. So I'm actually pretty happy with that, uh, despite it's not fully working as well. But like, I got a I, I got a decent flame out of that, which is very nice, which I which is what I wanted to get. And plus melting the aluminium and the magnesium, that was that was pretty cool too. I liked that. But before we go, I've got a couple of announcements. You may or may not have noticed um, the new look on my channel. I've got new channel art and a new logo. That is thanks to Divine Design. Um, I just want to thank him so much for making that for me. And uh, there's a link to a bunch of his social media things down there. Follow him, subscribe to his channel. Um, just check him out, he's really cool. Um, and also I want to make another announcement. I haven't said this for a while, but I've got Patreon. Um, Basically, no pressure at all, but if you do think the stuff that I do is worth donating to, then please do check it out. Uh, there's a couple of uh, t tiers there that you can donate to. Yeah, so there's that. And the last thing is, uh, I haven't really mentioned this, but I have over 8,000 subscribers. Now, that's insane. My goal at the start of this year, for the end of this year, was to reach 2,000 subscribers. I, well, we're only in October and I've hit over 8,000 subscribers. So uh, I'm thinking I'll try to do a subscriber special at about 10,000. Um, I, was, I was thinking of doing one at 5,000, but that just came and went. Now I'm at 8,000, it's going too fast for me to keep up. But uh, that's awesome anyway. Yeah, so I'll see if I can do a 10,000 subscriber special. And if you have any ideas for that, please leave them down below. Um, 
But yeah, anyway, that is the end of the video. Uh, if you do think I've earned it though, then please do consider subscribing. Uh, but until then, I'll see you next time.